Delada Palace, also known as the Temple of the Tooth, is a sacred and historic site located in Kandy, Sri Lanka. It is one of the most revered Buddhist temples in the country and holds great religious and cultural significance. The temple complex houses the sacred tooth relic of the Lord Buddha, making it a significant pilgrimage destination for Buddhists from all over the world. The history of the Dalada Palace dates back to ancient times. Legend has it that the tooth relic was brought to Sri Lanka in the 4th century AD, concealed in the hair of a princess who fled from India. Over the centuries, the tooth relic changed hands numerous times and was venerated in various locations before finding its final resting place in Kandy during the reign of King Vimaladharmasurya I in the 16th century. The architecture of the Dalada Palace is a stunning blend of traditional Sri Lankan design and intricate craftsmanship. The temple complex features a series of elaborately decorated pavilions, stupas, and beautifully landscaped gardens. The inner chamber that houses the sacred tooth relic is particularly exquisite, with golden decorations and precious gemstones adorning the walls and ceilings. Visitors to Dalada Palace have the opportunity to witness the age-old ritual of the Dalada Perahera, an annual grand procession where the sacred tooth relic is paraded through the streets of Kandy on the back of a majestic elephant. This event, filled with cultural performances, traditional dances, and elaborate costumes, attracts thousands of locals and tourists alike. Galu Fort Galu Fort, also known as Gaul Fort, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an architectural marvel located in Gaul, Sri Lanka. The fort is a testament to the island's historical importance as a strategic trading hub and its colonial past. The history of Gaul Fort stretches back to the 16th century when the Portuguese first constructed the fortifications. It was later expanded and extensively fortified by the Dutch in the 17th century during their rule over Sri Lanka. The fort's strategic location allowed it to serve as a vital stronghold for both military and trade purposes. The architectural style of Galu Fort is a fusion of European and South Asian influences, reflecting the cultural interactions and exchange during the colonial period. The fort's walls, bastions, and ramparts are well preserved, offering visitors a glimpse into the military engineering of the time. Within the confines of the fort, visitors can explore narrow cobbled streets lined with well-preserved colonial-era buildings, including churches, museums, old Dutch houses, and quaint cafes. The historic charm and picturesque beauty of Galu Fort make it a popular destination for tourists and history enthusiasts alike. Sigiriya Sigiriya, often referred to as the Lion Rock, is an ancient rock fortress located in the central Matal district of Sri Lanka. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of the island's most iconic landmarks and holds immense historical and archaeological significance. The history of Sigiriya dates back over 2,500 years to the reign of King Kashyapa I, who chose the site as his royal residence and capital in the 5th century AD. The king ordered the construction of an impressive palace complex atop the massive rock and adorned its sides with captivating frescoes and intricate gardens. The main entrance to Sigiriya is flanked by two enormous lion paws, which gave the rock its nickname, Lion Rock. However, only the paws remain today, and the lion's head has eroded over time. The ascent to the top of the rock is an exhilarating experience, with a series of steep staircases leading to the summit. At the summit of Sigiriya, visitors can explore the remnants of the ancient palace, including the king's throne, pools, and various chambers. The panoramic views from the top are breathtaking, offering a unique perspective of the surrounding lush landscape and the extensive gardens that once graced the lower levels of the rock. The Sigiriya frescoes, known as the Sigiriya Maidens, are a highlight of the site. These well-preserved paintings of celestial nymphs adorn a sheltered pocket of the rock face, providing valuable insights into ancient Sri Lankan art and culture. Ruinwelasaya, Ruinwelasaya, also known as the Great Stupa, is a massive and significant Buddhist stupa located in Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka. It is one of the country's most revered religious sites and stands as a symbol of Sri Lanka's rich Buddhist heritage. The history of Ruinwelasaya dates back to the 2nd century BC during the reign of King Jutubhumunan. 
the stupa was constructed to enshrine a relic of the Lord Buddha, making it an important pilgrimage site for Buddhists from around the world. The stupa's architectural design is awe-inspiring, with a towering dome that reaches a height of approximately 90 meters 295 feet. The stupa is surrounded by a circular terrace and a beautiful stone railing adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures. At the cardinal points, four magnificent entrances called battle carvers lead visitors into the sacred space. The Ruinwella Sire is not just a religious site but also a reflection of the advanced engineering and architectural capabilities of ancient Sri Lanka. The stupa's dome was built using millions of bricks, and the design ensures its stability even against earthquakes, a testament to the engineering expertise of the time. Dambala, Dambala, located in the Matal district of Sri Lanka, is a town renowned for its ancient cave temples. These cave temples, collectively known as the Dambala Cave Temple or the Golden Temple of Dambala, are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a significant pilgrimage destination for Buddhists. The Dambala Cave Temple complex consists of five caves, each adorned with intricate paintings, murals, and hundreds of Buddha statues in various poses. These caves have been used as places of worship and meditation for over 2,000 years, with the earliest evidence of their use dating back to the 3rd century BC. The caves are accessible by climbing a series of steps that lead to the top of a massive granite outcrop. The views from the top are stunning, offering a panoramic vista of the surrounding countryside. The cave interiors are a treasure trove of religious art and iconography. The paintings and frescoes depict various scenes from the life of the Lord Buddha, along with other deities and important figures in Buddhist mythology. The largest cave, known as the Maharaja Vihara Temple of the Great King, is the most impressive and houses the largest collection of statues. The centerpiece of this cave is a reclining Buddha statue measuring approximately 14 meters 46 feet in length. Nelam Kuluna. Nelam Kuluna, also known as the Lotus Tower, is an iconic telecommunications and observation tower located in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Standing at a staggering height of approximately 350 meters 1150 feet, it is the tallest tower in South Asia and one of the tallest freestanding structures in the world. Construction of the Nelam Kuluna began in 2012, and it was officially inaugurated in 2019. The tower's design is inspired by the shape of a lotus flower, which holds cultural and religious significance in Sri Lanka and other Asian countries. The lotus tower serves various functions, including providing telecommunication services, broadcasting, and offering an observation deck for visitors to enjoy breathtaking views of Colombo and its surroundings. The observation deck is accessible via high-speed elevators, and visitors can experience a 360-degree view of the bustling city below. At night, the tower is illuminated with colorful LED lights, creating a mesmerizing spectacle that can be seen from various parts of Colombo. The Nelam Kuluna has become a prominent landmark and a symbol of modernity and progress in Sri Lanka. Jayashri Maha Bodhi Jayashri Maha Bodhi is an ancient and sacred fig tree located in Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka. It is one of the oldest living trees in the world and holds immense religious significance for Buddhists as it is believed to be a sapling of the original body tree under which Lord Buddha attained enlightenment. The history of the Jayashri Maha body dates back over 2000 years. 
It is said that the tree was brought to Sri Lanka in the 3rd century BC by the Teri Sangamita, the daughter of Emperor Ashoka of India. The sapling was carefully transported to Sri Lanka and planted in the Mahendunu Uyana, where it has thrived for centuries. Today, the Jaya Sri Maha body is enclosed within a specially constructed white painted stone fence to protect it and provide a serene environment for pilgrims and visitors. The site is considered one of the most sacred places in Sri Lanka and attracts Buddhists from around the world, who come to pay their respects, meditate, and offer prayers. The tree's branches are supported by an intricate network of wooden scaffolding, ensuring its stability and preservation. The site is also surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens and other religious structures, making it a peaceful and contemplative space. Sri Padaya, Sri Padaya, commonly known as Adams Peak, is a majestic mountain peak located in the central part of Sri Lanka. It is one of the most revered pilgrimage sites in the country, drawing devotees from various religious backgrounds, including Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, and Christians. The significance of Sri Padaya is attributed to the Sri Pada, or sacred footprint, a depression on the summit that is believed to be the footprint of Lord Buddha by Buddhists, the footprint of the Prophet Adam by Muslims, and that of the Hindu god Lord Shiva by Hindus. The pilgrimage season to Sri Padaya typically commences in December and lasts until the Sinhala and Tamil New Year in April. During this time, thousands of pilgrims ascend the mountain, following well-established paths and steps. The climb to the summit is an arduous yet spiritually uplifting experience. The route is well marked and dotted with rest areas and small shrines. As the pilgrims make their way to the top, they participate in prayers, sing devotional songs, and marvel at the stunning vistas of the surrounding hills and valleys. At the summit, pilgrims gather to witness the breathtaking sunrise, which casts a triangular shadow of the mountain known as the Sri Pada Shadow. The shadow is a stunning optical illusion and a unique natural phenomenon that adds to the spiritual significance of the pilgrimage. Balonarua. Balonarua is an ancient city situated in the north-central province of Sri Lanka. It served as the capital of the country during the reign of the Chola and Sinhalese monarchs in the 10th to 12th centuries AD. Today, Palonarua is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a significant archaeological destination that showcases the rich cultural heritage of Sri Lanka. The ancient city is renowned for its well-preserved ruins, including royal palaces, temples, stupas, and stunning statues of Buddha. The ruins provide valuable insights into the advanced civilization and architectural prowess of ancient Sri Lanka. The quadrangle, located in the heart of Palonarua, is one of the most impressive archaeological sites within the city. It comprises a collection of significant structures, such as the Vatardij Relic House, the Paramaya Stupa, Gal Potter, Stone Book and Satmahal Prasada, seven-story palace. The Gal Vihara is another highlight of Palonarua, consisting of four colossal statues of Buddha carved into the living rock. The statues are renowned for their intricate details and serene expressions, reflecting the exceptional craftsmanship of the ancient Sri Lankan artisans. Visitors to Palonarua can explore the site by foot, bicycle, or guided tours, immersing themselves in the historical grandeur and spiritual significance of this ancient city. Museum Sri Lanka boasts several museums that showcase its rich history, cultural heritage, and natural wonders. Some of the notable museums in the country include National Museum of Colombo. Situated in Colombo, the National Museum is the largest and oldest museum in Sri Lanka. It houses an extensive collection of artifacts, art, and historical exhibits that span over several millennia, providing visitors with a comprehensive understanding of the island's history and culture. The National Museum of Kandy. Located in the cultural city of Kandy, this museum focuses on the region's history, with exhibits on the Kandyan Kingdom, traditional arts, and crafts. It also houses a significant collection of ancient royal regalia and artifacts. Anuradhapura Archaeological Museum Situated in Anuradhapura, this museum showcases artifacts and objects found in the ancient city's archaeological sites. 
It offers visitors an insight into the historical significance of the region as an ancient capital of Sri Lanka. Museum of Folk Art and Culture This museum, located in Colombo, highlights the traditional folk art and crafts of Sri Lanka, including masks, traditional costumes, pottery, and woodwork. Independence Memorial Museum Situated in Colombo, this museum commemorates Sri Lanka's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. It features exhibits on the country's political history, notable leaders, and the path to freedom. Baharawakanda Vihara Buddha Statue Museum This museum, located in Kandy, showcases a vast collection of Buddha statues, artifacts, and devotional objects from various periods and regions of Sri Lanka.